Hi again. Welcome to WOW! I would like to read all those books you have. Where did you get all those books? You should probably stop buying so many books. Sincerely, your wallet. I wanted to share with you the highlight to my week, which was an awesome message that I got from a teacher named Mr. Eilers? 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 We'll just call him Mr. E to be safe, which I'm sure is what he has his kids call him because it's a mystery. Anywho, he had some of his students blog about some of their favorite, whoa, I want to read that videos, and review them, which I think is pretty amazing, and I'm not going to lie, when I saw those, I kind of went, which we've reviewed before. It's pretty embarrassing, and no one should ever watch me cry. Marissa wrote, hey everyone, I'm writing about Mr. Wasco and his amazing video series called, whoa, I want to read that. He's such a hilarious guy. My class and I watch his videos almost every other day or so, it seems, because he is a video making machine. I am half machine, half mixing. Here's one from Alicia, who wrote, Mr. Wasco is a teacher in New Jersey who makes videos on books for students. His videos are very funny and cool. See, I told you I was cool, mom. I think that Mr. E should be in one of his videos because Mr. E and him are both really funny and creative. And hopefully Mr. Wasco says their class's name in one of his videos because that would be cool. So to Alicia and the rest of Mr. E's class in Modesto, California, at El Vista Elementary, You're not famous. So thanks to anyone else who's followed me on YouTube, followed me on the Twitter. It's the Mr. Wasco on the Twitter. Uh, feel free to find me, say hello, ask me some questions, and maybe you might get shouted out via the internet as well. <laughs> Creepy. I also realized that as part of this blog, you haven't really seen any of my classroom except for this corner of the room that is my desk. There's all types of nonsense around it. So. How about we see some other spots, huh? Here we go. This is a desk. This is a table. This is a couch. These are books. And this is the corner where we keep Monster Mitch. Hey, Mitch. So this week, let's jump into part two of my holiday gift idea jamboree. So if you have a student or a child who's really into those weird end of the world, dystopian, what happens to society after society breaks down kind of books, you know, like The Hunger Games or Divergent or The Maze Runner or any of those other books from authors who capitalize off of one good idea, I highly recommend these books that you can totally get for kids that are both really well written and of course, fun to read. The first series that I recommend is about to be a movie, so look at you. You get to read it before it's a movie, and you can claim that you knew all about it, you don't even have to give me credit. Always give me credit! And the first book of the series is called The Knife of Never Letting Go. In The Knife of Never Letting Go, we're introduced to a boy named Todd. And Todd lives in this society where it's a little confusing and mysterious, but you realize that everyone is a dude, and they can hear each other's thoughts. And you're like, what? Gross. I don't think people really want to know what I'm thinking half the time. It's probably not as interesting as you think it is. Are penguins, penguins made, made, out, of made out of marshmallow? Of marshmallow? They look they like look they'd be like made, made out of made marshmallow. Out of marshmallow. I wonder if they wonder taste if they like marshmallow. marshmallow. So Todd has to flee his home in terror of this danger that's coming to affect his family. And when he flees, he finds the one thing that no one ever thought they'd ever find. A girl. Kind of like me in middle school. <laughs> I was sad. Now, The Knife of Never Letting Go is creepy. It's wonderfully and brilliantly written. It has amazing characterization. Disclaimer, it is pretty violent. Minor spoiler, two words. Alien murder. But the next book that I highly recommend already became a movie, so I'm sorry that you missed the boat. And this book is called The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Zusak? Zu... By Mr. Z. The reason why I bring up this book is because, look, it's okay if you like to read about murder, that's fine, but the real world has all types of crazy murder happening all the time. And as a reminder of some of the horrific moments we've been through in human history, just look back at World War II and what happened in Europe and, to be fair, all over the world. So in The Book Thief, it tells a story about what happens to a family living in Germany during World War II, you might be saying. I've read that story a million times, that's true. But have you ever heard that story from the perspective of death himself? 
It's really cleverly written, it's really creative, and to any of you smarty pants out there, it's very Kurt Vonnegut-esque. That's why I tell everyone, Book Thief is one of my favorite books I've ever read. Cried like a baby at the end. I haven't seen the movie. So, just like any fan of The Hunger Games or Divergent or The Maze Runner, it's grim, it's dark, there's some romance in it, but of course, it's based in reality, historical fiction, and maybe that's something that some of us need to be reminded of once in a while. Snap. I went there. Brenda, what are you doing for this holiday season? Wow, that's just really interesting. I, I had no idea that you had such a fascination with horses. I mean... Brenda, who are you talking to? Beat it, Watsko. I'm talking to my boyfriend, Kevin. What's up, bro? There's no need to be rude, Brenda. Wait, whoa. Wait. Did you say boyfriend? Yes, I did. What? Did you think that I didn't have any other friends? I mean, I, I guess not. I just didn't assume that my desk supplies were dating each other. He's more than just a desk supply. He's manlier than he'll ever be. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a pretty tough looking stapler. You want me to show you four eyes? Whoa, easy buddy. Call me buddy again and I'll staple your mouth closed. I swear I'll do it. He'll do it too, I've seen it. You wanna you know go, what? bro? You wanna go? You want to <laughs> Keep it a little? Ha ha! Yeah, that's what you get. Mess with Wasco again. Why is that your solution to everything? Do you have anything you want to say to the people, Brenda? Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Quantica to everyone. Except for you, Wasco. Bye. <laughs>